Hey, what's up, YouTube? Math and Go Bros. Coming to you guys with another video today. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a very commonly asked question on my page. Is our custom Rawlings Heart of the Hides worth it? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my custom Heart of the Hide, even though I didn't custom order this one. I do own it. So the specs on this, it is a Rawlings Pro 207-6, which means it's a 12 and a quarter. It is all black oiled leather. I learned that it's oiled because it is the oiliest leather I've ever felt in my life. It has uh, black welting. It has red embroidery right here. It does not have a name on it, which is awesome. It has white or ivory stitching. I'm not sure which one, to be honest. It has a black deer tan cowhide palm, and the palm is obviously black, and it has gold stamping. So this is a very commonly asked question I get because I feel like a lot of people, especially now, you're really starting to figure out what you want for Christmas, stuff like that, and you're trying to decide what you want to do. You have some money saved up and you're ready to order a glove. So a lot of people get, get asked, oh, why should I buy a, you know, custom, you know, is it worth the money? Is it all this? So there's a lot of ways to actually get discounts on these gloves. If you talk to a Rawlings rep, a uh, guy like Glove Traders, and there's some other guys that can get you discounts as well. I'm pretty sure you can get these closer to 300 than to 350 I don't know like an exact price. You'd have to discuss it with them. But to me, they're amazing gloves, and they last forever. I love this glove so much. It's just about game ready now. Now I just need to find a team so I can start playing. And I will be using this probably... I'm probably still going to use my Bryant, but still... Um, I really like this. I'm probably going to end up gaming this over time. I just want to be super comfortable with my glove at first, so I'm probably going to use the Bryant. Sorry about the light. It's super bright out today, and the time I'm recording, it the sun's, like, directly going through my window, so it's pretty, you know, bright, but this is the only little bit of time I have today to record a video for you guys. So, yeah, um, the quality on these gloves are absolutely amazing. The lace is great. The inserts are beautiful. They're bricks. Um, the fingers feel very nice. Uh, you know, everything is really great about these gloves. Uh, to me, I feel like the custom hard to hide is one of the best values on a glove. My custom, I've just been destroying it and I love it. Honestly, I've been using it so much and I'm still getting, you know, a lot of phenomenal use out of it. And, you know, it's doing really well for me. It's still in really good shape, some cosmetic wear on the leather, but that's to be expected when you're you know, talking about a custom hard to hide in the future. I definitely see myself ordering more customs through Rawlings as well as some other companies I do want to try out. But in my opinion, they're definitely worth the price. You know, talk to a Rawlings rep, guys. You can get them for a better price, and that will obviously make it even more incentive to buy. I've used and abused my custom for a year. I easily have two more years on it. I just kind of want to get a new one soon so I can take my time breaking it in just like I did with this one. I didn't rush the break in at all. The, this craftsmanship on this glove is just absolutely perfect. The only thing I would change about this is to get rid of this. The gold fades really quickly. Like, I've never even, like, played catch with this glove before. And, look, you could already see the wear on the, like, the 1000 pattern just from me, like, throwing a ball in it and malling it. The gold fades pretty quickly. I can make a video about that if you guys want. Um, I've had mixed, mixed reviews on the gold. So I can make a video just about that if you guys want. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be trying to keep some more glove videos coming on the channel. You guys seem to like those more than anything else. Um, podcasts are going to keep going. So if you guys have any podcast names, let me know. Right now, my favorite name is from Benny. It's Matt Men Matt's Mendoza line. So if you guys know what the Mendoza line is, um, that's great. You get it. You get why it's funny. Um, if it, you don't get it, you should do some research on it. It's a pretty funny little thing. And I like that because it's like, you know, I try to keep my quality up instead of down. So if you guys, um, you know, enjoy this podcast, smash a like, give me a thumbs up to let me know. Uh, comment any names you guys have or any logos or intros, whatever you guys have. Uh, always slide in my DMs on Instagram or even I check my YouTube messages now too. So uh, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, have a good day.